Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donnelly. And I'm Erica Sargent. She had crashed her dad's car and texted her family last week that her father was going to, quote, kill her. Just some of the new details we're learning about the murder of a Tinley Park teenager. Police now say at the hands of her own father. Let's get right to CBS 2's Marissa Perlman. She spoke with the family and they are understandably in agony tonight. Marissa. Joe, Erica, the family, the community, too, in agony tonight. We have been watching this memorial grow all day long for Mia Mero. One classmate, in fact, sitting here for hours alone, reading notes to Mia earlier today. Meanwhile, her family tells us they are still in shock. They say there were no warning signs, but charging documents tonight reveal a sickening picture of a web of abuse in the days leading up to Mia's death. The one thing that I've been saying a lot is forever 17. Mia Morrow's family sharing at just 17, Mia was known to be good to others, goofy, and at her core, a caretaker. Whenever you needed her, like she would always be there. Mia did that for her mother, Audrey. Audrey suffered a traumatic brain injury three years ago, left bedridden, and at a young age, Mia stepped up. And she always took care of her. After days of not being in touch, police say Mia's aunt showed up to her house and found Mia dead in the basement of her home. She'd been beaten with bruising to her entire body. Police say her father, Mohammed Almaru, was found nearby. He'd slit his wrists and throat and had taken pills, but survived. Mia's mother was home. It's unclear if she heard anything. This happened out of nowhere. No signs, like, no nothing. It's just sickening. But charging documents shed light on the days leading up to the teen's death. Less than a week, court documents show Mia sent a text to her aunt after she got into an accident in her dad's car, and she was afraid he was going to kill her. And hours before police found Mia, Almaru texted his son, Mia's brother, that Mia was hiding things from him, and he had to beat the information out of her. He took one of our family members away and it, it broke all of us. A father now charged with taking his own daughter's life and a young girl with big dreams now gone. She was going far. She was going to go far in life. And it's just a tragedy that she got taken away from us. Now, this father has been questioned by police, but police say he is not cooperating, though he has also been in and out of consciousness. Meanwhile, police say there has only been one call to this house in the past, a medical call related to Mia's mother. DCFS also has no contact with this family. Meanwhile, Mohammed Almaru now facing first degree murder charges. We're live in Tinley Park tonight. Marissa Perlman, CBS mm. 2 News. Mm, those details just disturbing. Thank you, Marissa.